The energy transition is transforming our energy landscape. Electricity is not just produced by big power plants anymore, but everywhere across Europe, by small households, wind and solar parks of all sizes, as well as traditional production centres. Electricity grids are important enablers of this transition. They carry electricity to our homes from generation sites relatively close by, but also from more distant places, like offshore wind farms. Grids make sure we can continue to keep our lights on whenever we wish to. So far, the European grid has handled the energy transition remarkably well, but it will have to do some more heavy lifting in the future. Moving towards a renewables-based energy system will affect every aspect of our lives, not only energy production. It means shifting to cleaner solutions in sectors like buildings and transportation too. For instance, since cars traditionally run on fossil fuels, the transport sector will have to become electrified in the coming years. But if more and more cars become electric, we need to have a European-wide network of charging stations, just as we have petrol stations all across the continent at the moment. These charging stations will need to be connected to the grid. In many places, that means the grid infrastructure will have to be enhanced or expanded to guarantee high-speed charging of a large fleet of electric cars. However, electrification will not only bring challenges for the grid, it will also add flexibility. Supply and demand in electricity need to be balanced at any given point in time, so as to keep the grid stable and to prevent blackouts. In a system with a high share of renewables, such as wind and solar, this is a more challenging task, because this type of electricity generation is variable. This means that they depend on external factors, such as the weather. Therefore, flexibility measures are needed to help us handle this variability and to keep the grid physically stable. With renewables, this flexibility can come from different sources. Flexibility can also come from renewables themselves, because they can be ran down much more easier than a traditional power plant. They also contribute to system security, for example, in case of critical grid situations. So demand response will also become a very important source of uh, flexibility. Uh, with increasing share of uh, renewables, uh, prices will be low uh, at a certain point in time when uh, electricity generation is uh, at its highest. Um, so that means that you can still do uh, your laundry at any point in time, but you may choose to do it when, uh, when the prices are cheapest. Battery storage is also a form of uh, flexibility. Batteries can store the electricity at, uh, when it's not needed at any given point in time, but feed it back into the grid when demand is higher. Also, electrification itself can contribute to system flexibility by providing new storage solutions. Take the transport sector, for example. Grids are not only needed to supply electric vehicles, but they can also benefit from these batteries on wheels. European NGO Transport and Environment estimates that we will have 13 to 14 million electric vehicles on European roads in 2025 and 33 to 44 million by 2030, adding up to a storage capacity of thousands of gigawatts. This battery capacity on our roads will help stabilise the grid by feeding electricity back into the system when demand is high thus allowing us to build a smart system that relies on as little additional energy infrastructure as possible. But grids can also provide flexibility for the system. If grids interconnect geographical areas such as continental Europe, they can balance supply and demand over larger regions. So your local windmill can help to supply customers in another country instead of having to be switched off because there is no demand locally. Grids are the connecting tissue for a successful energy transition. They are needed for the electrification of our energy system and help provide the flexibility that this new system needs. At the Renewables Grid Initiative, electricity system operators and climate and environment organisations work together to build the best possible energy infrastructure for our renewables-based electric future.